In this FIFA 18 experiment, we're going to see could a team win the league with only one up front or one attacker in the team really. So this is a formation that Manchester City are going to play. Now De Bruyne is a very, very deep midfielder actually, but I couldn't actually get him in defence because the way the game works. And somehow he's let me put two players right down the bottom right, Fernandinho and Sterling, but not on the left. So it does look really, really strange, but everyone's as far back as they possibly can, and they've only got Aguero up front. Let's see if they can win the league. I have not altered any of the instructions, and I've left it on the default custom tactics. So, halfway through the season, after 19 games, and Manchester City are actually in 8th place. Not too bad, 27 points, much better than I expected. I was actually expecting them to be down in relegation, but they've got a good defence, I imagine, there. They've got 27 goals conceded, 23 goals scored, so it's not that great, but minus four goal difference isn't too bad. Now let's look at the top scorers. And Danilo is top scorer for Manchester City. How? I don't know. Uh, Jesus also gets four assists there and is a top assister, which is fine. Uh, then in clean sheets, Edison gets three. So pretty average stats of the players actually and not that great. In the FA Cup though, Manchester City win it 2-0 against West Bromwich Albion. Beating Manchester United, my favourite team, so it's a bit of a downer for me. They beat Cambridge and they also beat Southampton 4-1. So... They've had a great campaign in the FA Cup. But can they win the Carabao Cup? They're not even in the round of 16. So no, they can't win the Carabao Cup. Manchester United, who they actually managed to beat in the FA Cup, won it 1-0. Now, we see the whole table. And Manchester City have come fifth, which isn't bad. Behind West Ham, though. What's been going on there? I'm not trying to offend any West Ham fans. But judging by their current league position, they're not doing that great, are they, in real life? And that is very surprising to see them up in fourth place. But these are now the ratings for the players. A lot of up ratings, actually. So the team played very well, which is very surprising. I was actually expecting this team to perform horrendously. But, you know, it's not too bad. And now looking at the top scorers, so Manchester City have zero players in the top 15. Go down a bit further, you've got Walker getting the top scorer there. Kyle Walker. Okay, well, we'll move on. Torre, yeah, yeah, Torre gets seven as well as another player as well. And then Edison ends up with eight clean sheets, so not too bad to say. They've got everyone in a really, really terrible formation. And now we'll look at the average ratings. I'm interested to see how well they actually played. 7.1 for Gabriel Jesus is not bad at all. Diaz or Diaz also got 6.9. Got Kyle Walker on 8 goals, 5 assists, 6.8. He played amazingly. But I'm going to have to give the most valuable player for Manchester City to Gabriel Jesus. Anyway, guys, this has been an interesting experiment to see if you have one player up there and no one else supporting them, everyone else is back, then what would happen? Could they win the league? And they couldn't. They are below West Ham. But what they have proved is that they can perform quite well, especially the individual players themselves. They can seem to get good ratings and... They don't end up scoring many goals, though. That is one thing. Unless Aguero got injured for us this season, they didn't actually score many goals. It seems to be the other players. So the strikers didn't score many, but the other players did. So that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Anyway, guys, hopefully you really enjoyed this one. And please give me some constructive feedback on how to improve these videos. Maybe add some ideas in there, some suggestions for the future. And I will see you in the next FIFA 18 experiments.